Um, I think this gets five out of five stars. Ooh. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you can see, it is wash day and today I'm trying out a brand new product to me anyway. Today I'm using the Texture by Cantu Strengthen and Restore Moisture Mask. And today, after delaying washing my hair for about a week and a half, I am washing my hair finally. And this is what we're using in today's video. My camera is flashing, so let's just jump straight into the video. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna read out a tiny bit of information on this hair mask before we get into using. So first of all, let's start off at the beginning. So this is the Texture by Cantu Strengthen and Restore Moisture Mask. This is supposed to help replenish your strands. So if your hair is dry, it's feeling a bit damaged and you just wanna repair it, then this is supposed to be something really good to use. I bought this a couple of weeks ago, probably like a month or two ago, and I paid $7.99 for this, but I'm looking online and you can get this for like $10.99, $6.99, depending on where you're looking online. But I think if you have a local hair shop that you can go to and get it for a bit less, then that is definitely a great place to get this from. Can to describe this as a treat. It's an intense care infused with watercress and shea butter. And then I'm just on the Naturally Curly website. This is the only website I could find any information about this hair mask on. And they just say that this mask gives your strands some care and repair with this mega moisture rich formula. This has no silicones, no mineral oils and no parabens. So if that's something that you are weary of about hair products, then this does not have any of that stuff in it at all. And then in terms of the benefits and key ingredients, this has quite a few of them. So first of all, this has shea butter, this hydrates and nourishes the hair, this has spearmint oil, this soothes dry scalp, this has baobab extract, which increases hair strength, watercress extract, which helps minimize hair fallout, very important on wash day. And then finally, this has canola oil, which helps prevent split ends. And then in terms of how to use, they just say to generously apply from your ends to your roots on wet hair and to leave it under a cap for 15 minutes. So that's what we're gonna do today. And just quickly on the back of the bottle, they say that this is a go-to solution for waves, curls, and coils. So if you are like me and you've got 4C hair, you've got 4B hair, 4A hair, this is supposed to be something really good for the hair. So I'm really excited about getting into using it. As you can see, my hair is in a bun. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my hair out of my bun, I'm gonna wash my hair, and then when I come back, we're going to get straight into using the mask but before I wash my hair let's do a let's do a hair check I feel like these are now mandatory for every hair video that I do so this is the hair we just smidge it out there is not a single hair slide a single bobby pin a single anything in my hair my hair is just up in a bun I love that these days my hair just goes up in a bun without any extra help my hair has basically been in braids for the last month, like plaits, four plaits I had on my head. You can see that there is a bit of build up and dirt in the hair because I took out my hair the other day and then I just put my hair into a bun straight away because I couldn't be able to wash it. So this is the hair. Oh wow, you know, the hair's looking quite big, you know. I'm not gonna lie, this hair is growing. The hair is out, it's big. My hair is really growing like beyond my wildest dreams, I love it. Okay guys, so this is the hair. Wow, the light has completely gone in. Um, so what was I saying? Yes, so I'm now gonna go and wash my hair and then when I come back, we're gonna get straight into using this hair mask. I cannot wait. So I will see you guys in just a second. Hi guys. Okay guys, so I'm back. As you can see, I've just washed my hair. I've got my t-shirt on my head. For those of you who are curious, the shampoo I used was the Born Beautiful Naturals Moisture Silk Sulfate Free Shampoo. I've been using this since November last year. I have a whole video on Born Beautiful Naturals if you're interested in the brand or any of their products. So I'm just gonna take off my t-shirt. They did say on the website that you should apply this to damp hair. So unlike normally when I'm a bit worried about putting things on my damp hair, I think my hair should be okay. I think the white bits you can see, that is just water specks. Okay, so this is 
the hair, the hair has shrunk. Also guys, side note, I'm wondering if your hair can change texture because my hair doesn't feel like 4C hair anymore. It kind of feels like 4B hair, 4A hair. And I'm wondering if your hair can change texture. So let me know if your hair can change texture because I'm like, what is going on with my hair right now? But anyway guys, on to using this deep conditioner. I guess let's just whack it open. Guys, this smells absolutely amazing. What does this smell like? It's got a tropical vibe going on. I love a tropical scent, especially for hair products. I just love hair products that smell like a resort. Not that I've ever been to a resort. <laughs> okay guys, so as always, I'm just gonna divide my hair into quarters. I've got my first quarter, my second quarter, just to make sure that this is out of the way. I'm just gonna tie that up. So that is clipped out of the way. So let's just get onto it. Again, you guys, if you've watched me put on hair masks in the past, then you know I just slobber this thing on. So here we go. Do you know what? This is my kind of deep conditioner. I love a deep conditioner that's kind of like balmy in texture and this does feel really balmy. And I know I've put on way too much conditioner, but <laughs> I don't care. I think if you're like me and you go like a month between washing your hair, slobbering it on like this I think is perfectly fine. Even though I'm not like a hairstylist or a hair expert, so I don't know. Okay, so this is this. Normally I would put some more on, but when I open it up, we can see that all of the product has gone through. So I'm not sure there's gonna be a point in me to put more on. Let me just go to the ends like that and really just get it from the roots to the ends. This is really thick. It does feel really like almost clogging in a way. Get this first one on. I can see how this is gonna really repair your hair because the way that it's so thick, it's like your hair will not get a chance to be damaged. And then again, I've just got a massive bit. I'm just gonna plonk that on. So I think definitely if you've got damaged hair, if your hair is dry, I know that winter is long gone, but if your hair is still trying to recover from the cold of the winter, then this is gonna be something really good to try. Let's just open up again, because it's just so thick, very balmy. I wouldn't describe this as like creamy. I would kind of compare this to the Aunt Jackie's Rescue and Repair Deep Conditioner. I want to like put a bit more on my ends just because my ends are, you know, suffering and I want to protect my ends from any possible split ends. My next concern is my edges. I feel like I've got a bit of a ball patch coming on. And you know, your sections don't need to be perfect. You just need to make sure that you have your hair in sections. I could probably be a bit more neat with this, but it's just hair. And for me, as long as the hair gets covered, like there's no need super neat. I think the one thing that I like about this being quite like thick and heavy and no slip is that I'm not worried about it like slipping and sliding onto me. No guys this smells amazing. It does have like a tropical kind of smell to it. Love it. I'm gonna put a tad more on and I think if you have like coily hair you do want to focus it more on the ends just because moisture and stuff struggles to get to the ends of our hair even though you do want to put it onto everything. So let's just see. Yep, you see inside, it's like more than enough. <laughs> and I've got it on my arm. And then just onto the last quarter. Just gonna dub that on. Oh, my hands, my arms ache so much. I'm like, oh, I feel like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Like I need to be like this. You do want to make sure that you've got enough on because you don't want it to be just the outer hairs that have the conditioner in it, which is why I always open it up like that. So this could probably do with a tiny bit. Okay. Cool, cool. And then just gonna give this a... Oh, my arms. <laughs> my arms. Okay, guys. So this is the hair in the hair mask. The smell is really nice. I think if you don't like smells, then you're not gonna really like this because this has a pungent smell. There's no escaping this tropical island that is this hair mask. It's just amazing. I love it. Anyway guys, okay, so this is me done for now. They say to leave it on your hair for like 15 minutes under a bag. I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit a bag 
on my head. I don't have a big enough bag. So I'm just gonna leave this on for about 30, 35 minutes. Then I'm going to rinse it out. And then when I come back, I'm gonna talk to you about final thoughts and how my hair felt rinsing out all of that stuff. But in the meantime, I really like this. This smells so nice. This is super, 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 super thick. For me, this is really thick. So if your hair is really dry, really damaged, a bit thin, then I think this could be really good for your hair. You can really feel that it's packed with watercress, canola, shea butter. You can feel all of that stuff in the product. And when it's in your hair, it's just so thick with stuff. So definitely you've got dry hair, damaged hair, hair that needs a bit more luster Then this is something that I could for sure recommend based on first impressions. But yeah, I will let you know more once I'm back from washing my hair. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so I'm back. I'm just gonna keep this super quick because my battery is flashing red. It's now like 6.30 now. So yeah, so basically I rinsed it out. All in all, it felt good. There wasn't really anything too like crazy or anything out of the ordinary. It just rinsed out of my hair really well, really easily. In terms of the smell, I know that I was just saying that I really like the smell, but after about 20 minutes, I was sick of the smell. <laughs> the smell was that lingering, it was that pungent. So I think even if you do like smells and you like fragrances, the smell of the mask might be a bit too much. But apart from that, I really liked it. I also noticed that when I was rinsing out my hair, my hair started to get its bounce back, my curls started to come back in. I know that at the beginning of the video I was talking about how my hair texture had kind of changed, but this mask really helped to bring the coils back into my hair. But yeah, so that's very interesting. This isn't the first time that I've used this and I really like this based on first impressions. It made my hair thick and rich. It brought the curls back to my hair, which I love. I love me some curlage. Um, I think this gets five out of five stars. Ooh. I think this gets a five out of five stars for me. If you have any questions about this, let me know down below in the comments. Let me know if you have used this. I'd love to know what you guys think of this product as well. This is the first time I've ever tried anything from Texture by Cantu. I think this must be a new product line of theirs. So if you have tried Texture by Cantu and you have other products that you think I might like, let me know down below in the comments. And yes, guys, that is all from me in today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And in the meantime, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! Mwah.